in the suffering of your son. We pray lastly for the swift resolution of this sickness, for the discovery of a cure and the restoration of the normal lives of people and communities. We ask all this through Christ our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, and our divine healer in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God and forever and ever. Amen. Mary, help of all Christians, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Rubis, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsud, pray for us. Our Lady of Divine Love, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the Blessed Trinity. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Rodel Paulino. our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace and peace from God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters coming together to worship our Lord, 
we continue to recognize the great mysteries of our faith. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, that we may truly adore and honor you in this celebration of the Mass. The Eucharist is the most sublime act of worship we can offer to the Blessed Trinity. Let us come to our realization of our unworthiness to stand in His presence and the need to be purified from all our sins. Lord Jesus, you revealed to us the love of the Father for all human beings. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you taught us to love one another as you loved us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave us the Holy Spirit to be the source of our sanctification. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race, you wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A proclamation from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up Mount Sinai as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with him there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before Moses and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, if I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins, and receive us as your own. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For all ages, 
holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim. Praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Glory A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice, mend your ways, encourage one another, agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that, that the world might be saved through Him. Whoever believes in Him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters. 
As we celebrate the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity, it is also our feast day today. Why? Because all of us Christian Catholic, you are baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. As we celebrate the mystery, the central mystery of God as triune, we want to understand and honor His name. He is one God in three persons. How can we understand distinct persons as the Father, the Creator, as the Son, the Savior, and the Holy Spirit as the... Anong sagot? <laughs> Sa mga timbahay, anong sagot? <laughs> the Holy Spirit at... <laughs> Call a friend. <laughs> Sanctifier. <laughs> Remember, the Father created us. The Son saved us. And the Holy Spirit sanctifies us. When the Father created the world and asked human together with the Son and the Holy Spirit. When the Son saved us on the cross together with the Father and the Holy Spirit. When the Spirit sanctifies our Eucharist and sanctifies us together with the Father and the Son. When you look at the story of the revelation of the mystery of God, its origin its always love. That's why the gospel today, for God so loved the world that He gave us Jesus Christ to save us. And Jesus so loved the world, He gave us the Holy Spirit. On what day? Anong celebration ng Holy Spirit? Call a friend. <laughs> Pentecost. And for the Spirit so loved us, that's why He built us, the church, the people of God. When you look at the persons of the Trinity, it is the extreme intimate exchange of love of the Father, love of the Son, and love of the Holy Spirit. Sabi nga, ang pagmamahal nanganganak ng pagmamahal. Ang pagmamahal nagbubunga ng pagmamahal. Kaya kung gusto mong magbunga ng pagmamahal, huwag kang matakot magmahal at huwag kang mapapagod magmahal because that is our Christian life vocation. You are baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, you are truly called to love one another, to love God and to love each other. Kaya when you look at your own story and journey, you will realize many things in life that when you begin to put your heart in action, it bears love also. Yung pagmamahal na ginawa at binigay mo, magbubunga din ng pagmamahal yan. Naalala ko po, there was a retired teacher. no? Kaso because of the retirement, hindi naman masyadong kalakian ng retirement fund na nakuha niya, naubos din ito, puting a small business, sari-sari store, pero because of the pandemic, nagsara, finally, nagkaroon ng minor operation si teacher, medyo nasa a little older si ma'am, retired teacher, na hospitalized si ma'am, minor surgery, pero maging minor surgery pa man, umabot sa 100,000 pesos yung kanyang total bill sa hospital. Kaya hindi niya alam paano siya makakalabas after recovery in the operation. The big problem now is how to pay the hospital bill, 100,000 pesos. Sabi niya, I only have 8,000 pesos from the ayuda. Paano magkakasya to para sa isang daang libong piso? Kaya dumating yung araw of her Richard, ma ma uwi na siya, sabi niyang ganyan sa anak niya, how can we pay the bill? Can we write a promissory note? Tinawag niya yung nurse at sabi ng nurse, Ma'am, wag na po kayong mag-alala. Bayad na po kayo sa hospital. Sabi niya, paano nangyari yun? Niwala nga ako ma-down. Ma'am, si Doc, sinabi yung pangalan, binayaran na po niya ang bill niyo. Sabi ni Ma'am, pwede ba makausap ko si Doc para lang magpasalamat? Tinawag ni nurse si Doc. Sabi niya, Doc, maraming salamat. Bakit mo ginagawa ito sa akin? Dahil naka-face mask si Doc, tinanggal niya yung mask niya. Sabi niya, Ma'am, hindi mo ba ako natatandaan? Estudyante mo po ako nung elementary grade 6 sa Kalabanga Elementary School. 
hindi po kita makalimutan ma'am, nung graduate po ako, nagkaroon ng trabaho, I tried to find you in the school, pero nabalitaan ko, retired ka na. Buti na lang pinagtagpo tayo dito. Hindi ko makalimutan yung ginawa mo sa akin ma'am. Graduation ko noon, wala po akong pambayad, 300 pesos. Hindi po ako graduate kapag hindi ako nagbigay ng 300 pesos. Ma'am, ikaw po yung nagbayad sa akin para makagraduate ako. At dahil po doon, ma'am, pinagsikapan ko talaga makatapos sa pag-aaral. Kaya andito na ako ngayon. Please, allow me to give back what you share to me. Hindi mo alam, ma'am, it's not about 300 it's about my life and my family. Kung wala yung binigay niyo pong 300, palagay ko na discouraged na ako magpatuloy. But you give your money and you give it to me para lang makagraduate pa ako, nagsikap akong mabuti. Kaya this is the best time, ma'am. Thanks be to God. Pinagtagpo niya ulit ang landas natin. Hayaan mo naman ako magpasalamat by paying your bill in the hospital. And please, tell me what you need. I can help you as much as possible. Sabi ko nga, that's very true. Kapag nagtanim ka ng kabutihan, babalik sa'yo yan. Thank you, ma'am, for your generosity. Maliit na bagay yung 300, pero malaking buhay ang nabago mo. Sa buhay natin, nakala mo maliit na bagay ang ginagawa mo. But when you do it out of love, you can change lives of others. Akala mo, malit na bagay ang ginagawa mo pag aasikaso mo sa iyong mga anak. Hindi po. Malaking bagay yan. Yung pagsama mo sa anak mo, kung saan man sila pupunta, great contribution to transform the lives of your children. Yung pagluluto mo po araw-araw, hindi po malit na bagay yan. Kahit chicken feet yan, malaking bagay yan, nakakabusog ng tiyan yan, nakakabago ng buhay. Diba? Yung paglalaba mo araw-araw, hindi malit na bagay yan. You express your love by doing that, it transforms lives and even saves lives. And this is the story of the Trinity. The Lord will never keep moving to give us the best love ever. Hindi ihinto ang Diyos para lang maramdaman mong mahal ka ng Diyos. Hindi ihinto ang Diyos para lamang mapakita niya sa iyo kung gaano ka niya minamahal. Sana ikaw din, don't stop loving like Jesus, like the Holy Spirit, like the Father. Don't keep trying to love and love because that is our way of life. That is our Trinity, our God. Second, when you look at the Trinity as a communion, this is also our life. We are called to the life of communion. We can only make communion possible if you are willing and ready to die to your pride and to your ego. We cannot understand each other if you allow your ego to manipulate us. Only in dying when communion is possible. Only in dying to self, we can bring unity to our family like the unity of the Trinity. Kaya every act of dying to oneself for the good of the community, it is the Trinity manifested in you. Every time you deny your arrogance and pride for the sake of peace and reconciliation, you allow the Trinity to manifest in us. And that is the example of the Holy Trinity works in our daily life. And finally, when you look at the persons of the Trinity, the Father will continue to recreate us to offer the best life to us. The Son will continue to save us so that we will never be harmed by the evil one. And the Holy Spirit will continue to sanctify us so that your mind your heart and your body will always be pleasing to the heart of Jesus, to the heart of the Father, and to the heart of the Holy Spirit. It is the works of the Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, 
to bring the best in us. So please, don't allow mediocrity to destroy your identity as baptized in the Trinity. Because those who are baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, you must be the best as you are because God loves you so much. Do not allow mediocrity for you to reveal the workings of the Trinity in your life. As much as possible, work hard and bring the best in you so that we can bring the best in the church, in our family, in our community. Just imagine if you, son, if you, daughter, you are giving your best to your family, what a beautiful family, the best. Why? Because you bring out the best in you so that you can bring out the best to your family. Just imagine all families in Madonna del Divino Amore bringing the best in them. What parish we have? The best parish community because we are bringing the best in us. It's not because of your effort alone because that is the work of the Trinity to give the best to us so that you can bring the best for God and for one another. So my dear friends, as we celebrate the Trinity, please don't stop loving because your life is like the Trinity, the life of love. Don't stop working for unity and oneness by dying to yourself because the Trinity are one because of their communion to us. And do not stop bringing the best in you because that is the very purpose of God to all of us. Kahit maliit na bagay, when you put your love to it, you can make it extraordinary. Kahit ano pang niluluto mo, you put your heart to it, you can bring the best out of it. So my dear friends, the Lord wants the best, no more, no less, to all of us. As we worship the Trinity, every time you put the mark, sign of the cross of the Trinity, I want you to remember those things. You are loved and God wants the best for you. Amen. Let us all stand and together we profess our faith. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Having received from the Blessed Trinity the gifts of life and faith, let us approach the throne of glory, pleading for the needs of all humankind as we pray, O Most Holy Trinity, hear us. O Most Holy Trinity, hear us. For the entire Catholic Church, God's family on earth, may she proclaim with her teaching and make present with her initiatives the love of the Blessed Trinity for all human beings. Let us pray. 
O Most Holy Trinity, hear us. For the Holy Father, our bishops, and our parish priests, may they be constantly strengthened in the fulfillment of their pastoral duty and see the fruits of their dedication. Let us pray. O Most Holy Trinity, hear us. For all the members of the different Christian denominations, may their common faith in the Blessed Trinity bring them to live in unity, cooperation, and peace. Let us pray. O Most Holy Trinity, hear us. For all families in our parish, may the harmony and love that bind together the three divine persons may be reflected in the mutual relationships of all the members of each family. Let us pray. O Most Holy Trinity, hear us. For ourselves and all the people dear to us, may we always be aware of the presence of the Blessed Trinity in our midst and derive from it joy, courage, and inspiration. Let us pray. O Most Holy Trinity, hear us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions and all the intentions offered in this Mass. Let us pray. O Most Holy Trinity, hear us. Eternal Triune God, you created us in your image and gave us new life in the sacrament of baptism. Fill our lives with your presence and welcome us into your kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for a good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctified by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make up us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. 
for what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angel and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim. Santo, 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 Dios makapangyarihan, Jesus sa balati ang langit at tumang sana, o oh, sana sa kahitaasan. Pinagpala ang narito sa kanan ng Panginoon, o oh, sana. O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time it was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Sa at pagkabuhay kami inubos mong tunay buong Yesus kami mahal iligtas mo kami tanang buong Yesus kami mahal ngayon at magpakailan Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
we are loved by the Holy Trinity, let us express our love to God as we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May receiving the sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel as we pray our petition to our Mother of Divine Love. All together, O beautiful, o beautiful Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God and our Mother, Spouse of the Holy Spirit with His Divine Love, has designed upon you the moment you took form in your mother's womb, thus preserving you from the stain of sin and keeping you ever immaculate. Again He came down upon you at the time of the Annunciation, whom you have been worthily greeted by an angel with the words, Hail, full of grace. Yes, O Mother, you are truly full of grace, rendering you the Mother of Jesus, at the same time keeping you ever virgin. Moreover, he came down upon you on Pentecost, filling you with his gifts and making you the channel and dispenser of all heavenly blessings. Thus we turn to you in confidence that you will obtain for us the grace we need. For we know that you will never turn us away. Therefore, O gracious Lady of Divine Love, please listen to our prayers, especially this petition. Thank you, dear Mother. Protect our Holy Father. Pope Francis, and bring into perfect unity all Christians according to the desire of your Divine Son. Grant peace and prosperity to the whole world, to our country, to our community, and to our family. Illumine with the light of the Gospel all who have not yet come to true faith. Convert poor sinners, give us to a sincere contrition for our sins, Render us always strong enough to say no when temptation assail us. You who see us mourning and weeping in this world, come to our aid when we are burdened by the weight of our suffering. Strengthen us to accept the inevitable difficulties and trials of life. O Mother of Grace, cast your maternal gaze on us. Keep us ever in your sweet protection. Lead us along the path of paternal love and charity. Granted we, your beloved children, will always render you praise with our lives. Keep ever burning in us the flame of divine love, so that we will let ourselves be entirely consumed by it, here in this life and in eternity. Comfort, O Virgin Mary, when God would finally beckon us. Open to us the portals of heaven and bring all souls to your Son, Jesus. Amen. Please stand. 
this coming Sunday, Feast of the Corpus Christi, Saturday after the Holy Hour, we will have the Eucharistic procession in different enclave of our parish. And we invite you to join us in our Holy Hour every 3 p.m. and the prayer of the Divine Mercy Chaplet. Thank you. Before I give you the final blessing, pakiusap lang, huwag kang hihinto magmahal kahit minsan nabibigo ka. Huwag kang titigil magmahal at huwag ka titigil gumawa ng mabuti. Ang itigil mo, yung kalokohan at pag-iisip ng masama at paggawa ng hindi tama. Yan ang itigil mo. Pero yung magmahal, tuloy-tuloy lang. Sapagkat yan ang ating bukasyon as we are baptized in the Trinity. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God our Father keep you from all harm and bless you with every good gift. Amen. May He fill your minds and hearts with the presence of His Word and lead you to lasting joy. Amen. May Spirit guide you as you walk in His ways, always knowing and doing what is right and good. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended, go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.